Across the country, volunteers spent the day laying wreaths at the tombstones of American veterans. It's an annual tradition called Wreaths Across America. Here locally, people remembered loved ones who served in the military and now rest at the Chattanooga National Cemetery. Taylor Stewart shares their stories. Taylor. Allie, the woman I spoke with says this is her first wreath ceremony. She says seeing all the wreaths all near all those tombstones today brought her a sense of pride, but it also brought her a little bit of grief. The crossroad of Eisenhower Boulevard and MacArthur Drive, home to some of the nation's bravest men and women laid to rest here at the National Cemetery. Across America, people laid wreaths on the tombstones of veterans. This day meant to honor veterans like Andra Irwin's late husband. I think all of these men and women that have served uh, deserve this and much, much more. Today marked Andra's first Wreaths Across America ceremony. Her daughters came in town to remember her husband, Jim Edward Irwin. He died only six months ago. I stood here beside his graveside through the uh, whole service. She says he enlisted in the Vietnam War. Just 13 days after celebrating their wedding, they said their goodbyes. When you're that newly married, you uh, don't lose track of time a whole lot. Jim served as a medic on the front lines. Most people called him Doc. Andra called him Honey. We called his name in full. And then I said, Jim, honey, because that's what I always called him. She showed me what's behind the wreath. On his headstone, we have the words, bless you, amen. The phrase derived from a much longer family saying Jim would tell their kids before bed. They would take their little hands and put it on our forehead. And all they could end up saying was, Bless you, amen. Today, she, like so many others, remember the patriots who served. Jim returned from the war and began a life of ministry, building and pastoring several churches in our area. He also worked as a college professor before doctors diagnosed him with Alzheimer's. Allie. Taylor, thank you. Each year, you can help a family by sponsoring a wreath for a veteran. We'll have more information on how you can get involved on our website, newschannel9.com.